there are over 30 harmful substances in cigarette smoke, including alkaloids, arsenic, nicotine, aldehydes, and others. Many of these are deadly poisons. Of special significance is benzopyrene, which is one of the known cancer-producing agents. As the tobacco burns, it reaches temperatures as high as 1600 degrees Fahrenheit, and this process causes physical and chemical changes in the nicotine, tars, and other substances. Most of these products are gaseous at high temperatures, and they become part of the smoke that is carried into the respiratory passages and absorbed through the mucous membrane and the tissues. Foremost among these substances is carbon monoxide, which is the killer in automobile exhaust. In order to illustrate the harmful effects of even small amounts of carbon monoxide upon the body, let's take a look at the breathing cycle. When you breathe clean air, oxygen enters the lungs, where it finds its way to the red corpuscles of the bloodstream. The heart then pumps the blood to the body cells, which in turn utilize the oxygen. As you smoke, carbon monoxide, the poisonous gas we have mentioned, is attracted to the red corpuscles just as the oxygen was, only more strongly. These carbon monoxide molecules take over some of the red blood corpuscles, decreasing the capacity of the blood to carry oxygen to the tissues. In other words, they prevent the oxygen from reaching the red blood cells, thereby reducing the oxygen transportation by 5 to 15 percent. This is one of the reasons why the smoker cannot run as fast or as far as he could if he didn't smoke. Another bad actor in cigarettes is nicotine. Nicotine is an alkaloid and works upon the nerve centers of the brain that regulate the heartbeat and breathing. In addition, nicotine causes the small blood vessels to get smaller or constrict. There is substantial evidence that continuous smoking causes the small blood vessels to lose their elasticity, and this increases the possibility of heart trouble and blood vessel diseases. The heavy smoker smokes the equivalent of a cigarette over six feet long every day, or one about the length of a coffin. But among the real threats in smoking are the killers known as the carcinogens, the cancer-producing agents found in the tars condensed out of the tobacco smoke and deposited into the bronchial tubes leading to the lungs. And with a person's constant smoking day after day, the carcinogens build up a mighty force. From the bronchial tubes, the carcinogens move into the air tubes of the lungs where they begin to antagonize systematically the cells of the air tubes. It is not known why the cells change and become abnormal, but they begin to grow and affect those cells around them until the victim finds himself hopelessly afflicted with lung cancer. A non-smoker has about one chance in 270 of developing this disease, while a man who continues to smoke two packs a day has only about one chance in 10. And 95% of those afflicted will eventually die from the cancer.